Hi there, welcome back. Now I'm sure many of you have been frustrated by the thermostat which is built into the heater that you're using in your room. They're really poor quality and they don't do a job of controlling the heat. So Vadim, a guy that I met recently at the Home Assistant Meetup Community Day, has developed this little thing called the Kiwi Warmer. So effectively what it is, is a smart plug with a temperature and humidity sensor attached to it. So it can control your heating, or cooling or humidification devices within your home. So let's have a look. So the smart plug has this little remote cable with a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor within this little casing. It operates on mains voltage from 90 up to 240 volts. It's got a current rating of 10 to 16 amps. It can control temperatures between 20, sorry, 10 and 35 degrees, as well as humidities between 50 and 90%. Some of the devices do have an add-on CO2 monitor. Mine didn't come with it, and they're claiming power accuracy of 2.5 watts. Now, in order to control this device really easily with in-home assistant, I'm going to use the generic thermostat integration. So having a close look at the plug, we've got our New Zealand plug available here. I see there are EU and other options as well. Then we have our little switch over there. It's got a nice clicky action with the color LED surrounding it for displaying the status of the device. On the side here, we've got the little mini jack where we plug the sensor in, and then we've got our other side of our plug. So the sensor over here, we've got this DHT22 sensor in this plastic casing. We have a reasonable amount of cable, so you can put it a distance away from the device itself. And if you plug this in over here, that just plugs in nicely and neatly, and you can then mount your temperature sensor wherever you need to. So after plugging the device in, I opened up Home Assistant, and as we can see, it's already discovered the BLE connection system. So all we do now is we go submit, then it asked us to put in our Wi-Fi credentials, and then it said that the device requires authorization. So I wasn't quite sure about this. I tried pressing the power button on the device, but it didn't seem to change anything. So now I've opened up my Home Assistant, and here it seems to be. Let's add it over here. We'll submit that. And there we go, it's created our plug. So being an ESP32 device, we've got lots of controls here. So for our plug, we've obviously got our power on and off for our smart plug. Then we've got our sensors. So we've got current, energy, and power and voltage. And we then have humidity and temperature from that DHT22. We've also got some disabled entities over here. This is CO2 and air quality. Now my specific device didn't ship with the CO2 sensor built in. Down here we've got some calibration that we can do so we can calibrate both our current and our voltage readings as well as our humidity and temperature. We can use these offsets. Down the bottom here I really like it when manufacturers include this so we can actually see the temperature of the ESP P32. Now, especially when you're controlling high current things like heaters, really good to see that they do include the temperature. I'm not sure if there's some sort of a cutoff protection like in a Shelly, it would be really nice if they do, but it doesn't show anything over here. Um, we've also got our version of ESP Home. We can see our IP address and our connection to the internet over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and add the generic thermostat. So now to set up our generic thermostat, we're going to go add generic. There we go. The thermostat. OK. And now it gives us the options. So we give it a name. We'll just call this the heater. We're going to select our temperature sensor. So it's a ROW, there we go. So we wanna have the temperature sensor. Um, we wanna select our switch. So it's the ROWE again, there's the actual switch. Now we can set our tolerance. So this is designed for how far it will allow the temperature go before it turns on and off. So you can adjust that. You can also adjust your minimum cycle duration. And this is our target temperature. So you can select here whatever temperatures you'd like to be able to set on the thermostat. So I'm going to say from 19 degrees through to 23 degrees. 
we go next now we can also set some preset temperatures so i might say on away mode i'm happy for it to go down to 18 degrees comfort mode might be 22 eco mode let's say that's 20 home mode let's say 22 again sleep mode i like quite cool when i sleep so we'll say 19 activity mode uh we'll say 20 as well so we submit all of those finish and we select a room i'm going to put it in the living room so that's fine so there we go we've now got our thermostat we can start adjusting our thermostat over here as you can see it's going between 19 and 23 degrees as what i said and then we've got our mode so we can go on to heating mode it will now turn it on and it will start heating up the room so if we have a look now at what's happening if we go to our temperature over here you can see that it's doing a really good job of maintaining a temperature between about 21.2 and a minimum of 20.5 and as you can see it's just cycling it up and down as it goes switching it on and off and keeping our room at a lovely warm temperature now if instead we wanted to control humidity we would create a new generic there we go and this time we'd select the hygrostat and now instead of controlling temperature it's going to control humidity so overall my thoughts are that this is a really great little device if you're looking to control temperatures or humidities or if you're looking at getting the version with the co2 sensor you could then control the level of ventilation in the room to make sure that you're not getting too much co2 let me know what you think of this i love this that i've dealt with a local person that i met at a home assistant meetup and then i've gone to test the device they did send it to me free of charge but this is not a sponsored video so i'm giving you my absolute honest opinion on this device anyway that's all for now i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now